Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Bill Evans. I'm the chief of police here in Joliet, Illinois. At approximately 12.04 this afternoon, the Joliet Police Department was notified by the Will County Sheriff's Office of an incident here in the 2200 block of West Acres. This incident included several deceased persons in two separate residents. A total of seven people were found shot to death in these two locations. We are working very closely with our partners at the Will County Sheriff's Office to locate a suspect in this homicide. On behalf of the Joliet Police Department and the Will County Sheriff's Office, our hearts go out to the victims' families of this heinous crime. We will do everything in our power here at the Joliet Police Department to bring the person responsible for this to justice. We are currently looking for a suspect by the name of Romeo Nance. Nance is 23 years old. He's six foot two, 160 pounds. He's an African American male. His last known address was right here in the 2200 block. If you have any contact with this suspect, please contact your local authorities. Do not attempt to take this subject into custody on your own. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dan Jungles, Deputy Chief of the Will County Sheriff's Office. The Will County Sheriff's Office has been working this investigation since yesterday uh, when a shooting occurred in our jurisdiction at 5 uh, Pheasant Run Lane in unincorporated Joliet Township. Our officers responded to that resident or to, to that area uh, for a, a person found uh, with his blood coming out of his head and um, upon deputy's arrival they, they located a gunshot wound. He was transported uh, from that from that uh, area to a local area hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. The uh, the victim in our incident has been identified as Toasai Bakar. That's T O Y O S I, first name, last name Bakar, B A K A R E. He's 28 years old. He is originally from Nigeria and has been living in the uh, Will County area for the past three years. Uh, Early on in this investigation, we were able to identify a uh, suspect vehicle to our uh, homicide, uh, which coincided with a earlier shooting that happened in uh, Joliet uh, approximately 10 minutes prior to our report. We were able to locate uh, uh, various information on our suspect and, and search the area for this suspect vehicle. All attempts to locate the suspect have been negative at this time, and uh, the Will County Sheriff's Office is seeking the public help, along with the Joliet Police Department, locating this, uh, this suspect. Um, at this time, uh, at, at approximately uh, 12 p.m., or I'm sorry, 12 a.m. early today, our officers uh, set up surveillance in this area uh, in an attempt to locate the vehicle, which uh, yielded negative results. At uh, approximately 8.45, um, I'm sorry, at approximately uh, shortly before noon this morning, our officers then went to a residence, located blood outside of the residence, and made entry where they found two deceased individuals. And that's when we contacted the, uh, the Joliet uh, Police Department regarding this incident. Uh, that's about all the information I have at this time. Thank you very much. We will take a few questions, but we will, we, again, understandably, we do have to keep it brief. Gentlemen, do you, you have any kind of motive for these shootings, or at least the one that, that took place here? At this time, we do not have any motive. Uh, obviously, this is an ongoing investigation. We're deeply entrenched in this, and uh, as of this time, uh, we're still moving forward with that. What is Nance's connection to this scene and to the other two scenes? I can't say that right now. It's an ongoing investigation. I, I, I think it would be against my better judgment to, to, to comment on that anymore. You don't know if he knows these individuals or knew any of the victims? I, he does know the, 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 the victims. Chief, can you talk about the victims at both locations? Are they all related? 
I believe they are related. In both homes? Yes, we, we do have to be very careful about how much information we provide at this time, but they are related. How were those other two shootings yesterday connected to this scene? We do believe that they are, they are the, both those shooting investigations from yesterday have some correlation with the shootings here today that we're dealing with. Uh, at this point, we can't tell you exactly uh, why we believe that, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll hold off on that information for now. Chief, can you give us age range, please, of the victims? Uh, no, not at this point. Uh, no. His last note addressed is that one of the houses where people were found dead. That's correct. Bill, do we have eight total homicide victims counting the Wolf County Sheriff's case then? Is correct. We believe, eight total? Yes, we have seven here at this scene. We have another at the Will County scene. Were there any reports of gunshots last night, this morning, anything that you guys got in this area? No, ma'am, there was not. Are the victims yesterday related to the victims at this time? We don't believe so. Not related? We don't believe so at this time. But but somehow connected to Nance? There, there could be, yes, there could be. And like I said, guys, it's a very fluid investigation. There's only, I'm limited in what I can tell you. I, I don't want to say anything that's going to compromise an investigation. But at this time, I'll answer anything I'm, I'm available to answer for. Can you clarify if he had any previous history? Yes. Criminal history? Yes, I believe he does have criminal history. Chief, can you talk about resources here? Um, Will County Sheriff Deputies, Joliet Police. Who else is helping in this investigation? That's correct. Uh, we, we did uh, employ the assistance of the FBI Fugitive Task Force. Uh, we have uh, full court press as far as the Joliet Police Department is concerned. We are partnering with the Will County Sheriff's Office. Uh, a number of different agencies are involved in this, but those are probably the primary agencies right now that are doing all the light work. Sure. And just on the personal note, Chief, seven people. How do you, how do you even react to something like this? Uh, I've been a policeman 29 years. Uh, this is probably the worst crime scene I've ever been associated with. And again, you said that the two households are related. Are they family members specifically? We do believe that they are family members. So two victims in one house, five in another? That's correct. How did you decide to go check on the other house? What led you to the second house? That would be a better question for uh, Chief Jungles. Yep. So uh, our deputies did go to one of the residents, um, knocked on that door first, and when they received no response, they knew that the house across the street uh, was related to the individuals that resided at that house. They walked over there, uh, and that's when they discovered the blood and, and made entry into the house uh, to, to look for injured individuals. So you were staking out the house last night and then stopped staking it out, and that's when things happened this morning? No, we, uh, we, we had surveillance on it all throughout the, uh, throughout the evening and into this morning, constant surveillance, uh, hoping that the vehicle would return uh, to that residence, which it did not. Uh, and that's when we made the decision to um, try to make contact with the registered owner of the vehicle. And so just clarity in terms of victims and homes, the two homes involved, um, four people inside one home, three in the other, what's the exact breakdown? Five and two. Uh, five and two. Chief, is there any indication how long these people have been in the home? Uh, I don't have that indication. Uh, the uh, autopsy is still pending. What's Nance out on bond? Uh, that's something I can't comment on. You believe he's still in the area? That's not something we can comment on right now. What are you advising residents to do as the night goes longer? Should they be concerned? Well, obviously, uh, with a with a crime of this magnitude, this with this heinous act, uh, you know, we're, we are putting everything in our power to to bring this individual to justice and and um, you know we are telling individuals to remain vigilant stay safe just for clarity after yesterday's time you guys identified your guy who staked out his house here his last name address hoping he would come back he never did and at some point you grew suspicious that you knocked on the door and found people dead that is correct yeah, as far as we know, we're thinking Nance is alone, right? We don't think he has anybody else with him at all? I'm not going to comment on that. I mean, are these victims, are they Nance's family members? I mean, if you, you came here as the last name of the are they related to Nance? Uh, the relationship, I, I can't 100% uh, say, but uh, we they are known individuals to Nance. Thank you. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.